Hey guys, what's up? It's Condom Zelda, and if you saw my uh, sneak peek video I posted yesterday, then you will know today we are going to be unboxing the Battle Tower set. Now, just to save time, I have already taken out, I have already put all this stuff together because, you know, I, I care about my audience. I don't want them to get bored with me just putting it together. And to be honest, it took me like, like 30 minutes at most. I'm at, at, at the most. So we have got the, so it comes with the Strike God Valkyrie. Feels, this, by, by the way, this one feels a little bit tighter, like a good amount, it's got that good amount of tightness to it compared to the original Valtriac. And this Beyblade here, Noctimus, apparently has two mode changes. So first you gotta, first you have got to pull out these little tabs, which I already did, and then you gotta grab the two different bits of the lair and there. So we have got upper mode. Let me come up and see. There it goes. It slides up like whoop. And smash mode, where there's a spike, goes B. You, you, you guys probably understand how how this gimmick works thanks to Twin Nemesis. And am I putting this in wrong? Oh yeah, I gotta lock the. I gotta lock the lair before I put in the Beyblade. It almost broke my Noctimus. I just got this. Yeah, that's the thing. You gotta be careful with these tabs, because if you don't lock them in and try to put the Beyblade in, you could potentially just break your Noctimus or Nemesis or whatever. You don't want to buy another one. So, t and now we are going to talk about the stadium portion. You know, the elephant in the set, the elephant in the room, or in this case, the set. So, this, mo this one has got two... Sorry, I bumped the camera. This one's got two... Uh, modes. Uh, the two-player mode. See, there's one player and two player. Uh, and on the other side, it's there's one, two, three, four. And on each side are these little dials. It goes from zero all the way to five. So this probably means you're gonna have to get up to five points in order to win. And the same thing's on this side, but now, come on, focus. See, uh, whoever gets the five first wins, I guess. So that that's cool. That that's cool. It's a nice way to keep track of your points, considering the fact that you might be playing with four people. And in this scenario that you're playing with four people, this would be the perfect set. So now we are going to test out this stadium and these Beyblades. Let me get in position. Battle one, three, two, one. Let it flip. And he is down on the bottom. Up oh, there goes, there goes reboot. It just did its thing, and now it might lose to stamina. Who knows? I'm gonna have to be in a better position when launching. And Noctimus gets it. I gotta shake the. I gotta shake these Beyblades out. And yeah, that's. Well, I gotta. Come on, camera, focus, please. Okay, next battle. Battle two, three, two, one. <laughs> Noctimus just knocked itself down to the bottom. Rip. No pun intended. Well, at least it's easier. At least it's easy to get out. So yeah, that's the two-player side. Now let's flip it over and let's do four players. And like the box suggests this can be played up to four layers let's get started start off with this one three two one jeez that was a lot of chaos for just three beyblades there we go some of the parts get stuck in this stadium, and man, that was a big hit. Where'd it hit it? Oh, I found it. Rip. Ne ne next battle. 
By the way, one thing I forgot to mention is that with this stadium, there are new rules since there are two layers. So here we have got, it says there, survivor finish lower level, one point. Survivor finish top level, two points. Bar burst finish lower level, two points. And burst finish top level, three points. So, yeah, they added new rules because, you know, more layers, more fun for everyone. Three, two. And Stadium. Oh, knocked it down to the bottom layer. This layer, okay, this, this, this mode is a lot more controlled and doesn't go crazy, not like the previous one. In the pre, the previous one, kind of when, when there was the two player mode, they would fall down in the thing and like get on the carpet and stuff. Yeah, this, this mode, this seems to do a lot better than the two player mode. Four player mode is a lot more fun and more controlled. Especially since they like go up these little ramps, which are really cool. But that just begs the question: How many Beyblades can we fit in this thing at a time? Let's start off with Garuda. Three, two, one. Then Ragnarok. Ragnarok. Rock War. I'm too used to the anime. I keep saying because of all these TT releases, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying it in a wrong way. Let's surprise it. Whoa! Oh! Oh, Spryzen got it! And if you don't know where Spryzen is, he is on the bottom. Ugh. How many of you are excited as me for, like, Baldor and Kalzar? You know, Bahamut and Kakulkan? The Hasbro releases. I, I honestly can't wait, especially to try them out in this stadium. If you guys have enjoyed this video... I can't really say it's an unboxing because I did the unboxing off set because it took forever. Then make sure to hit that like button down below. Make sure to, and if you want me to try to lock this layer into place, then hit that like button. If you listen, it makes a little click noise. That's weird. Anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. And if you like this video, subscribe, like, th hit that like button. I, I don't know if I already said that, but I'm just, I'm, I got too focused on this, okay? Let me know what, let me know if, what comments you want me to battle on this in the comments below. I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.